Um, this is a video on refilling the one pound um, containers of, of uh, propane. These are Coleman. You buy them at the local Walmart or wherever. And they cost like four something a piece if you buy one. And you get two for six dollars and something. And I'm going to show you how to refill on one of these little 20 pound containers or a bigger one if you have it 20 pounds are easier for me to pick up and turn upside down so you have to have it upside down now there's a there's a method to this madness see some people say that you're supposed to push that little valve on there and do all this to these you don't do nothing the the ticket to fill in these and to get them to fill all the way is this big tank needs to be room temperature the little tanks need to be really cold or frozen okay and always when you take one off make sure that you shut the propane valve off underneath because if you don't it will make a big massive explosion and i'm gonna uh see it spews a little bit out i'm gonna show you taking this one off because i'm gonna show you the valve i use i get the valve on amazon they're about seven dollars Okay, it didn't spew anything. But anyway, like I said, these are Coleman one-pound uh, one pound bottles. Some people use a scale to put them on. I shake them, uh, lift them. Mine aren't filling all the way up, and they won't if your big bottle is at room temperature. You'll only get about a fourth of a container in there. Now, this valve is the thing that it just screws on there, and uh, it's a little adapter thing. You buy them. You buy them on uh, Amazon. Like I said, they're about uh, about six or seven dollars. And you take this little can and screw it on, hand tight, just hand tight. I gotta lay the phone down a second because I gotta tighten that. I gotta hold that nut while I tighten it. Just a small turn. Okay, I, I did that. And then you reach under here. And open your valve. Now these containers are 20 pound. Okay. You don't really have 20 pound. Of, it's supposed to be 20 pound of gas. But which means you can fill. Actually 19 of these bottles. So a tank of this gas is 20 to 25 dollars so you get these little when you refill them yourself the cost brings the cost down to about a dollar a bottle and these bottles run on the little stoves heaters you know the little buddy heater i use uh, and then you just turn it upside down completely like that and i set it up in here so it's got a little surface to set on i've been keeping the tank in here now if i was able to put the tank in somewhere where i could get it room temperature or even set it out in the sun during the day and let it let the outside of the tank get warm, you know, a little bit. Which I may try to do that and try to fill these a little more later. I just wanted to do a video and show you basically how this is done. Uh, now they sell what they call a refillable bottle that costs about $10 empty, okay? Now, why buy that when you've already paid for these and, you know, I mean, why throw them away? You know, you have to take them to a landfill. They have to go in special, uh, special dump areas at the dump because they're gas and and uh, hang on. Oops, I have to loosen it a little bit by hand, and then there we go. Okay, loosen it up because it's going to spew a little bit sometimes. When your tank's fuller, it'll spew, and uh. Also, the outside of these containers, like when, you're, you, when you put them inside, the gas in here will expand a little more in here as these warm up. That's why they need to be cold, because the gas inside of them, once they get warm, we bring them inside, and the container gets warm, the gas inside expands, and that's what happens inside here, okay? It expands. I'm going to put one more on here. Hear it? 
Get going in. And always do this outside. Don't do it inside because gas spews out. You could cause an explosion. And this is flammable gas too. Very highly flammable liquid petroleum gas. Very dangerous. So unless you know what you're doing, um, I do that till I hear the gas stop running. And then I usually set it up like that for a couple more minutes. Uh, you can leave them on there up to about five minutes. They're, if they, whatever they got filled up to, they're going to fill up within five minutes. You don't really need to leave them any longer than that. Like I said, they will fill full if this big tank is room temperature and the small tanks were either left outside where it's freezing or put inside of a freezer and a refrigerator, which I leave mine outside in the cold and let them get good and cold. And that's how you do that. And this is the end and like share and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and if you want to see more uh, anybody that wants to donate anything toward my butane and propane uh, funds for the winter i've got my paypal link is in my uh, uh, description in my channel information so it's our, it's paypal me uh, uh, lipstick Lipstick hick, excuse me. Yeah, lipstick hick. Um, but anyway, uh, it's in the description. I don't I don't know how to say it. It's paypal.me forward slash lipstick hick is how it's to PayPal me. That's the link. Anyway, um, yeah, that's feed for the chickens. And, of course, I keep a big container of cat food uh, in there. And then that big container back there is my dog food container. And I'm fixing to need dog food. As you can see, my dog food's getting low. So, anybody wants to sponsor my dog food thing for the winter, I could appreciate that. They can also call in that stuff at Walmart uh, and for pickup, and I can pick it up. Or, uh, I also have an Amazon wish list link for winter things that we need here uh, for the camp in winter. So, we're doing pretty good. We're not freezing to death. And uh, this is the... Uh, generator which i'm going to be starting up in a minute because as you can see there is no sun there's plenty of sky and clouds but no sun today so we're not going to have any power to the solar panels so i'm gonna have to run the generator again to be able to get my phone charged and that's how you live off grid you do everything yourself tote your own water your own food you know everything yourself the old van still Still broke down. Haven't got it fixed yet. Got to put a new ignition in it and a new starter solenoid. But here, as soon as I can get the money together, I'll get that fixed. And that way I can have my own rides. We had to go to the doctor this morning. Had to call for a ride. Had my friend come take me to that appointment. And so, anyway, that's all I got to say today on this video. And I hope you all learned something from filling these tank bottles. And I'm going to let you go. And uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.